Hello, welcome to the presentation on our work for fusing task-oriented and open domain dialogues for conversational agents. Traditionally, there are two forms of dialogues people consider when they develop dialogue systems. We have open domain dialogues and task-oriented dialogues. In the literature, they usually have separate data sets and models as listed in this page. Rather than having two types of dialogues separately, in reality, it is natural to expect both dialogue modes to appear together in the same conversation session, as shown in this picture here. In our new dataset, FuseChat, both modes appear together in multi-turn dialogues with intermode dependency. Our FuseChat essentially extends another popular TOD dataset named ModiWalls by adding ODD turns. We use crowdsourcing to collect dialogues and hire 113 people. Every creator writes fictitious ODDs for both the roles of system and user. There should be intermode dependency between the TOD and the ODD, which we'll go into details of later. We do both appending and prepending, each for half the multi-walls dialogues. In the case of appending ODDs, the ODD follows the TOD. So intermode dependency would mean that we want the ODD to be dependent on the TOD. We enforce this by letting the creators write at least one round of exchange whose content reflects concepts or knowledge found in the existing TOD segment. We also prepend the, the ODD to the existing TOD. We want intermode dependency, which means that the existing TOD should be dependent on the prepended ODD. To impose such dependency, we rewrite the ODD. Our method of rewriting the TOD essentially imposes ODD dependent dialog state tracking. After all the manipulations, our dataset now contains two types of dialogues. When we appended ODDs, we created TOD plus ODD instances. When we prepended ODDs, we created ODD plus TOD instances. Together, we have modified all of the 10,000 dialogues present in multi -worlds. Here are the statistics of the added ODD terms. There are two ways to use end-to-end -end modeling for intermodal dialogue systems. First, we have the classification-based model. Two response generation models are independently trained to handle each conversation mode. A separate classification model is trained and used to determine which model response to generate. Second, we have the two-in-one model. It is a single model that generates a response given any conversational context by implicitly determining the conversational mode. We unify the representations of the TOD and ODD sequences by introducing a new token, pointing brackets ODD. One can use fused chat to evaluate his intermode dialogue system using a combination of traditional 
TOD and ODD metrics. The result shows that the classification-based model outperforms the 2 in one model. This seems to suggest that handling the two dialogue modes separately using two models is better than cramming them together in the same model. But bear in mind that this is just a baseline attempt at solving this problem. To summarize, our work serves the goal to develop dialogue systems that can perform both TODs and ODDs with intermode dependency. We note that our choice of TODs and ODDs does not represent the full scope of possible dialogue settings. The construction of fuse chat required a lot of manual effort. It is thus very expensive to replicate the same routine for every new intermodal dialogue scenario. Alternatively, zero shot or few shot models that can learn to perform intermodal dialogues by mostly relying on separate single mode dialogues are a promising direction. <laughs>